I am constantly on the lookout for makeup inspiration. I love looking at a beautiful photo and being like, yes, I want to recreate that on myself. I want to feel the way that picture looks. Old Hollywood looks, some of my very favorites. But I often find that classic old Hollywood looks tend to look kind of more like fall or winter. So I went on the hunt for the perfect old Hollywood spring makeup inspiration. And I found this January Jones at the Golden Globes a few years ago. It's an absolutely iconic look from an absolutely gorgeous woman. And I thought, you know what? Her hair color is similar to mine. Her skin color is similar to mine. I could recreate that and that would be perfect for spring. And hello, I was right. This look is classic Hollywood at its best, but fresh and a little bit corally red so that you have a nice spring look going on. The glossy red lip, it's where it's at. Let's dive in. To prep my skin, I'm gonna use the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer from Victoria Beckham. I finally picked this up a couple weeks ago and I am obsessed. I've heard such great things about it. They're all true. It's very silky, very smooth formula, and it just feels so good on my skin. I love how it preps the skin. Next, I'm gonna use Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. This is shade number two. I love applying this on the high points of my cheeks in the center of my face under my foundation. I'm using a stippling brush today. It's just a random one from EcoTools. So super inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. And I love this because it's just a lit from within kind of glow. It's very pearlescent. I think this is like a liquid pearl, honestly. It just looks beautiful under the foundation and gives you that nice, soft ethereal glow. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my current favorite foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. There are so many S's in that, and if you didn't know, I have Invisalign, so S's are very difficult, so I apologize if you uh, picked up on the lisp there. Today I'm actually mixing shades 110 Alabaster and shades 160 Shell, because I'm kind of in the in-between where my self-tanner has worn off a little bit. When I'm self-tanned, I wear 160 Shell. When I am not self-tanned, I wear the literal lightest shade 110 alabaster so i mix those two together today i'm a little bit more alabaster than shell but not quite fully alabaster i love this foundation it's a fantastic radiant skin finish it looks like your skin just a little bit more naturally radiant a little more glowy it's not a super dewy foundation but it's not really a true satin either that's why i say radiant skin finish that's like my favorite descriptor of a foundation, the exact kind of fin foundation finish I like. I used a just a domed foundation brush. This one's from It Cosmetics. I love It Cosmetics brushes. They are so fantastic. So I just apply a little bit and then buff it in with a domed foundation brush. I don't like to use an overly dewy foundation when I'm doing like a classic kind of old Hollywood look as this one is inspired by because I find like it's just a little too much. It doesn't look quite as classic when it's super dewy. So that's why I decided to go with this radiant skin finish instead. And I, again, I feel very still glowy and lit from within. My current favorite concealer is also from Shiseido. It is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. I wear the shade 101 Fair, which works for me whether I'm self-tanned or not. I absolutely love this concealer. I have very dry under eyes and this concealer is just, it's the bomb. It brightens up my under eye, does not crease, and it doesn't dry me out. I don't get those little flaky dry patches under my eyes. So I really appreciate this concealer. I also put a little bit on my lids to prep those. Filling in my brows now with the Dior Show Brow Styler in Blonde. This is my absolute favorite brow product. I use it basically every day. It is the absolute best. If you're like me, you just like kind of filling in your brows a little bit. You're not trying to really change the shape or, or do too much with them. This is a really great product because it mimics very fine brow, sto brow strokes very realistically. When I first looked at the picture of January Jones, I couldn't really tell what she was wearing on her eyes. And I think that's just because it's a very soft, just enhancing the shape of the eye, giving the eyes some depth and some shape. It's not really meant to stand out very much. So I looked at several different pictures and I finally decided that I was gonna go with a cream shadow just to get that nice 
very soft, barely there blend. I'm using Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Oyster, Oyster Pearl is what it's now called. It used to be Marie Antoinette. Mine still says Marie Antoinette. Maybe I should probably replace it. That would be a good idea. If you've never used this shade before, it's absolutely fantastic as a one and done shadow, like I'm using it today. I pack a little bit on my lid and then I just blend it out into my crease with a fluffy brush. I follow the natural shape of my eye. Just make sure I blend it out. It's very simple and quick eye look. And then I'm taking a little smudgy brush and just smudging some directly onto the outer, I would say half to two thirds of the lower lash line, just barely there to give just a tiny bit of definition to that lower lash line. This shade is fantastic because it doesn't really compete with your lip or your cheek, whatever you're wanting to do, it's gonna go with any any color scheme that you're using. It's just soft, nice, giving some definition to our eyes and a little bit of light reflection to just soften the eye. Then I'm just brushing out my lash extensions with a spoolie, a clean spoolie, and throwing a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. All right, moving on to cheeks. So today we're actually gonna start with contour and we're going to go from the cheekbone. You can see on the picture of January Jones, her cheekbone, she's got a contour and it goes up onto the cheekbone. So we are going to mimic that. I'm using the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I'm using the light contour shade. I'm taking a fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques blush brush number 400. I'm gonna set the bottom of this brush in the hollow of my cheek and then blend up onto the cheekbone. So a little different than how I normally do my contour or bronzer. This is a really good neutral shade too, this one from Dior. So I'm just walking you through this step because it's a little bit different than how I normally do my contour or bronzer. So now you can see that technique gives us that nice defined cheek, but we've gone up onto the cheekbone as well rather than keeping it all in the hollow, which is just a nice soft kind of draping effect. Definitely use a very fluffy brush for this because that's gonna keep it where it's not too harsh, not too crazy. I'm also going to contour the jawline just a touch as well. I do want a little bit of color on the cheeks. We're going for spring, so for me, coral is like the spring color. It's just one of my favorite, most flattering shades. I'm gonna be using Nearly Apricot from Rare Beauty. This is their Melting Cream Blush. These blend out beautifully like a absolute dream. We're gonna go in very lightly with this. We just want like a little pinch of color right on the very top of the cheekbone. I put it on with my finger and then blend it out with a little damp sponge, Beauty Blender-esque thing. This one's from Real Techniques. The glossy red lip is the real star of this look, so that's why we want just like a pinch of color to the cheeks. We don't wanna leave it without any color because if I do that and then put on a red glossy lip, I'm not gonna look balanced but we just wanna go very softly to balance out that glossy lip that we're about to put on. All right, now for the star of this look, the glossy red lip. Now, January Jones originally used a lip gloss from Chanel that I used to absolutely love, but it is now discontinued. They don't make that formula anymore. So I went looking for something similar and I found this gloss from Dior that I'm absolutely in love with now. This is the shade Dior Fire in the Dior Addict Stellar Gloss. It is so beautiful and it's such a quick and easy way to get a red lip and the gloss just freshens it up and makes it so springy for me this is the perfect opacity i absolutely love this i love that it will wear off really evenly and i can just reapply without much thought if you would like it to be a little more opaque a little more bold you could absolutely use like an orangey red or corally red lip liner first and then apply the red gloss but for me this is perfect it feels very fresh, feels very balanced, and it's polished in old Hollywood without looking too dressed up. This is something you can definitely wear day to day without looking like you, you know, are going to some kind of gala, but you could also wear it to a gala. So, I mean, it's very versatile. To finish the look off, we're using the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I am just mixing the two lightest shades and putting them on the very tops of my cheekbones. And that's the finished look. I absolutely love this. It's so fresh, so springy, but it's just so classic and timeless and polished. I mean, come 
on. What's not to love? If you're like me and you love classic old Hollywood inspired makeup looks, be sure to check out my beauty biography playlist where I cover the life of iconic Hollywood beauties while creating inspired makeup looks. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself.